Spinks will have to probably try to do what Larry Holmes said in the interview earlier seen with Larry. Keep charging. Somehow get inside. But can he avoid the punishment of the Holmes jab? A stinging, jarring jab. Or can he keep Holmes moving? Because Larry's jab is most effective when he can stand flat-footed and just pour it in there. Double and triple on it. We'll see. 15 rounds scheduled for 10-point must system. The crowd begins to roar. WBC rules three judges, and they will score the fight. The referee will not have a voice in the scoring. No saving by the bell except in the last round. It's a big, big ring. Holmes should be able to use it beautifully. Look at how fast those hands are. That's his greatest talent. Foot and hand speed. Great side to side or lateral movement. 20 feet, six inches, so much room to negotiate. The referee, Richard Steele, a good man, a young man, but a veteran man. There is the Leon Spinks ring record. Richard Steele from Los Angeles, the third man in the ring. The judges, all veteran boxing judges. Harold Letterman of New York, Rudy Ortega of Oakland, California, and Hank El Espinu of Sacramento, California. Leon Spinks! Spinks just introduced to the crowd. He's here in Detroit often, though he says he will always call St. Louis home, but he's got a host of fans here. Weighing in today at 212 and one quarter pound. From Eastern Pennsylvania, the undefeated Eastern Assassin, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Hall. The crowd favorite within the arena, obviously Leon Spinks. From Easton, Pennsylvania, the home of the Lafayette Leopards, Lafayette College. The Easton Assassin, they call Holmes in the pugilistic vernacular. And instructions now to both fighters from referee Richard Steele. down, Holmes looking squarely at Spinks, the tail of the tape, the key factor, the difference in reach. What an edge for Holmes. We await the start of action, the bell for round one. 12 pound weight advantage for Holmes, but that's not consequential. The bell. Quickly trying to use the left jab and moving. Spinks pursuing. He can be wild. He is unpolished, but he can be dangerous. Witness his knockout to Granado Mercado in the ninth round when Mercado was top rated WBC contender, and that's what got Leon this shot. is not and never has been a one-punch knocker out. Though in his 37 victories, he has scored almost 30 knockouts. A good right by Larry Holmes. Speaks his problem, how to get in there and do some damage. And the problem comes up early. Minute 10 seconds into the first round. that big ring to use. Spinks getting in, trying the ball and draw. There are those who give Spinks an excellent chance. Larry with a good right lead caught Spinks in the head. Will Grimsley of the AP, veteran bulldogging boxing reporter, has picked Spinks to win. Michael Katz of the Times gives him an excellent chance of the New York Times. With two minutes into round one, crowd yelled, but Holmes' glove picked off the Spinks glove. Seconds left. 
fifth in the first round. Holmes boxing skillfully. At this point, winning the round. Spinks trying to be all over him, pursuing him. It excites the crowd. But it's Holmes who does most of the score. Saw the wild right up on the shoulder. That did get to Holmes, but it won't hurt him there. The end of round one at hand. I'm learning to take it easy. Him too. <laughs> Check. <laughs> We're back in Detroit ringside. Round two just underway. Holmes, in my view, won the first round. But Holmes has a tendency to rattle, and the wildness of Spinks may do just that. At times, he lost his cool against Trevor Burbick, not a noteworthy opponent. Spinks far more dangerous than Burbick. 30 seconds into round two. Leon bobbing and weaving and trying to get inside. A long left, only a glancing blow. By the time it landed, Richard Steele, the third man in the ring. Los Angeles, California. Good, quick referee, keeps position well. Two good lefts by Holmes. Holmes swinging him around, spinning Spinks off. With a superior height and reach, he almost dwarfs Spinks, or it looked that way at the weigh-in, even more than it does in the ring. Spinks connected there. He had Holmes against the ropes, and he connected. His best connection of the night. Second time Ali fought Spinks. When he won easily, you saw the good right land on Spinks. Ali began putting his punches together in the fourth round. Throughout the fight, he outmuscled Spinks, oh, using his superior size and upper body strength to maul him all over the ring. Holmes has not tried to do that. Holmes, a man who uses movement. 50 seconds left in round two. A better round for Spinks than round one. He got in a good blow to the Holmes mid section. He is not, Holmes has not been able to fight his fight. In this round, Spinks is fighting his fight. And Holmes missed. He's a touch rattled. The wildness of Spinks is troubling. There was a mistaken oh, bell. There was a mistaken bell that caused Holmes to pause, and Spinks took advantage. One. Now they're teeing off together. In one corner, the seconds got into the ring, thinking the round had ended. It will end right now, but Spinks in control. We're back live. Holmes waiting for Spinks in the middle of the ring. William Hunter, the timekeeper, clanged his bell 25 seconds before the legitimate end of round three. That put Holmes off guard. Spinks took advantage. Spinks had Holmes clearly rattled. Now Holmes comes out to fight. So far, Spinks has shown that he has well, he's never been afraid of anybody in his life, and we may have a good fight here. Holmes an overwhelming favorite, of course. But Spinks, an awkward, troublesome guy. No, that's a slip. Quickly, Richard Steele over. Holmes pushed Spinks off, and Steele right on top of the action. Spinks making the fight, and rattling Holmes is not fighting with a great deal of self-possession. We're a minute into the round. Surprising to see Larry lose his cool. Oh, a good left to the belly, then he doubled to the head. Excellent. Holmes, no 
knows he's in a fight. That's how wild Spinks is. Leaning all over Holmes. Halfway falling down. And Holmes is now scoring heavily against Spinks. Now he's fighting boxing basics. He's scoring that left to the belly hurt Spinks. Spinks is getting it. He hasn't been able to get away from the ropes. And Holmes is really teeing off on him. As a measure, you see the left measuring him, then the right, and then the left. And Spinks is ready to go and goes very quickly. Larry Holmes got to him and took total command just as quickly as he had seen Brad. Spinks up. Count concluded. And back comes Holmes. And Spinks is dazed, bewildered. He's stuck in the corner. The worst place for him to be. But the movement has gone from his legs. And if Holmes now measuring. The key to this, don't lose your head. Work the opponent. Don't try to put him away too soon. Leave this old movement. He is just killing him. And the fight is stopped that quickly. Tell thrown in. Career. Larry Holmes actually troubled in the second round, having won the first round easily. Steele says the towel had nothing to do with it. He stopped it on his own. You can't stop the championship fight with a towel from the corner. So Richard Steele has said that he stopped it on his own, and he did the right thing the referee did. Let's look at it again. Spinks stuck against the ropes right near the corner, virtually in the corner. And Holmes going at him, teeing off on him. Spinks utterly, utterly out, really. Got up from that, but went down again and it was stuck. This, again, the replay. See the way he measured him with his left and then came through with the look at that right uppercut. And that right. So Larry Holmes, 38 fights, 38 victories. They can say what they want about the quality of the opposition when it comes to Holmes, but he hasn't picked them. He's fought virtually everybody around. Next in line, Jerry Cooney and a kid named Greg Page. That's At the way Spinks went down. Still round. another great one. Hitting him at will. Larry Holmes. How quickly the tide turned for Leon Spinks. Because in the second round, it looked like he had a chance. In the third round, it became what it was in the first round. Only Holmes came out to fight. Disappointed and angry with himself over the second round. He came out to fight. And it was no contest. In fact, a mismatch. Larry Holmes. Minute 26 of the third round. Winner on a technical knockout. The bout stopped by referee Richard Steele on his own. We will be back in Joe Lewis Arena. And there is the defeated Leon Speaks. But we'll be quickly, Mrs. Holmes now coming in to hug the champion. Larry, let's quickly review the fight. The first round was easy. You outboxed him. You used movement. What happened in the second round when he seemed to have you A, rattled, and B, angry? Well, first of all, man, Howard, I would like to say happy birthday to my daughter, Lisa. Hi to Miss me, my daughter, Belinda. I want to say hi to all of them, Reverend Jesse. Jackson, Re Reverend uh, Jacobs, all my friends at round one, and don't forget to take care of your bartenders and waitress. And then the second hour, now I, I the thought, I, <laughs> I like to say, uh, I heard the bell, but like you said, it was probably a false bell. But I stopped fighting, and he kept coming. And he started hitting me, I think that was good for me, because it made me get out there and make this guy respect me, because he had no respect the ball. And before you ask, enough, ask, ask me the next question, I'd like to say hi to my good, good old friend Jim Spence. 
All right, you ABC. said I to everybody. Now, never mind ABC. Okay. You happen to be on our network, but I don't want any plugs for it. I, I can give you now, none either. Okay. Now, you said what mattered because it's what I said. It made you angry that fall spell, and he when he came at you and he scored against you. Might even have won the second round for him. Who knows? So you came out, and no more moving. You just came out and went right at him, right? Yes, Howard. I started using a stronger left jab, doubling up on my jab, and I was finding the range because he was moving a lot, and it was only a matter of time. But that's just to show you, I don't know what's happening to boxing. This man was out on his feet, hurt, and the man let him get up and continue to take punches. It don't make any sense. And I'm just glad that nothing happened to Leon because I think he's a hell of an athlete. All right, he Larry, all the credit. hate to interrupt you. What I want to do now is show you that final round and show me where you thought the fight should have been stopped. Okay, Howard. You were out in the middle of the ring waiting for him. Challenging, right there. challenging. Come on, Leon. I'm stronger, I'm bigger. I don't have to move from you. Come on in. He says, fight, told me. He says, fight. So we fought. And right you started quickly getting that left right jab in. Left hand after the right hand. Follow my brother Jakey predicted the third round with a right hand again. <laughs> so Leon wanted to get me on the rope and uh, try to work. He started very fast, and I knew it'd be a matter of time because he'll run in to punches because he was running into punches. But you early. spun off the ropes and now back to ring center, and then the way it wound up. You had Leon on the ropes. Yes. That was a slip. That there a you slip. pushed him off. That was a proper call. Right. Then he came charging and ran into a right hand. See, all his punches he throwing was blocked. Picked off very well, I must say. That you did. And he, and he started throwing, and he ran right into a right hand. See, I was doubling up left hook and right hand too. That's right, the left to the belly and then up to the head. You doubled on yeah. the left. Very good. Now you begin to get it. There's that right. That's the right hand. That was the right hand. That stepped in. Right there, you knew he was hurt. Didn't yeah. You? That's when you stood there flat left footed, hook. measured him with the left, and teed There's off the with right the right. There's another right hand right there. See, he's hurt. There's another right to the body. There's another one. Another right hand. Because I knew he was hurt. See, he was hurt right there. They didn't. I knew it. I said, stop the fight. Stop the fight. All right, Con, please. Let Larry talk. Go ahead. And, he, was, and he went down. He was, I didn't think he was going to get up. Now, you thought it should have been stopped Yes, now. I didn't think he was going to get up. But when he got up, they continued to let me bang away on Leon. Like, kill him. Go ahead. And you didn't want to do it. And I didn't want to do it, but... Did I you have say to do anything to Richard Steele, the referee? I said afterwards. I said I said up afterwards. I said, what's going on? What's going on? I said. Leon trying to fight back, but he can't fight. Pinioned in the corner there, just taking the blow. Right hand, his body, measuring him hard, right after right, body punches. Well, it's unfortunate. It's been an unfortunate career for Leon. After those two flashes of glory, the gold in Montreal the night he beat Ali. But our congratulations to you, Larry. We're back on camera now. There's